so students let us start uh, let us start uh, carbohydrate you have already seen uh, classification of carbohydrate uh, monosaccharide disaccharide uh, polysaccharide under polysaccharide you have seen starch and glycogen so what is the difference between starch and glycogen glycogen is highly branched okay so you have seen uh, mucopolysaccharide or under heteropolysaccharide you have seen mucopolysaccharide or glycose aminoglycan what are the example chondroitin sulfate keratin sulfate dermatin sulfate heparin and all heparin act as anticoagulant hyaluronic acid it is the Uh, uh present in the synovial joint it acts as a lubricant these are the some of the important uh, uh, uh mucopolysaccharide now we will see again you already know sugar molecules are attached by glycosidic bond okay in carbohydrate uh disaccharide or polysaccharide they attached by glycosidic linkage so it this this is a covalent bond see here what happens is so what is glycosidic linkage this is the link it is a covalent linkage between a monosaccharide sugar unit they held together by glycosidic bond okay so in between each sugar molecule you can see a glycosidic linkage form disaccharide or even polysaccharide the hydroxyl group on the anomeric carbon you know that asymmetric carbon anomeric carbon okay uh anomeric carbon atom of a monosaccharide can react with the hydroxyl group that is oh group of another monosaccharide okay so hydroxyl group of anomeric carbon atom of a monosaccharide can react with hydroxyl group of another monosaccharide or a non carbohydrate okay so from oh hydroxyl oh one water mo- molecule that is h2o is removed so there is a link o link this link is called glycosidic bond okay the hydroxyl group of anomeric carbon atom of monosaccharide react with the hydroxyl group hydroxyl is oh group of another monosaccharide so from oh oh h2o is removed water is removed so there is a o bond glycosidic bond you know that there are two uh, enamels alpha and beta of the monosaccharide form respectively alpha glycosidic bond beta glycosidic bond this is a simple one at least you remember there is a chance of three mark short uh, short note so remember su- uh, the structure of sucrose what is sucrose it is a disaccharide on hydrolysis it gives glucose and fructose glucose is aldose fructose is a ketose okay so on hydrolysis also takes place uh, hydro- takes place by the, uh, either mineral acid or enzyme sucrase okay so alpha d glucose and beta d glucose they held together by glycosidic linkage okay so that is shown in their oh group and oh group with the removal of water molecule it is a, a condensation reaction when there is a removal of water molecule we call it as condensation reaction so this is a, a covalent bond okay so in simple we can say sugar molecules are held together by glycosidic linkage okay this is the same diagram anyone you can remember just for the the uh, this one so glycosidic bond is a covalent bond formed by the condensation reaction uh, condensation is removal of water which produces one water molecule during formation of glycoside see compound having glycosidic bond is called glycoside so this is not there in your syllabus detail so compound forming glycosidic bond those compounds are called as glycoside so in the reverse reaction that is breakage of glycosidic bond is a hydrolysis reaction okay using water breakage of glycosidic bond is hydrolysis reaction one molecule of water is used up 
in the reverse reaction okay one molecule is water used up in the reverse reaction okay Hyd for example sucrose sucrose is hydrolyzed into uh, to form glucose and fructose sucrase is the enzyme lactose hydrolyzed to form glucose and galactose lactase is the enzyme maltose glucose hydrolyzed to form glucose and glucose maltase is the enzyme for isomalto maltose isomaltase is the enzyme again isomaltase convert maltose to isomaltose to glucose and glucose okay so what is invert sugar invert sugar this also there is a chance of three mark short note invert sugar sucrose we call it as invert sugar it shows the phenomenon of inversion see you know that what is the dextro rotatory these and all comes under optical isomerism the sugar molecules are the, uh, the uh, carbohydrates monosaccharides are uh, exhibit stereoisomerisms that is they are optically active they exhibit optical isomerism okay so sucrose is dextro rotatory it rotate the plane polarized light to the right so it is dextro rotatory in nature so after hydrolysis it gives a mixture of glucose and fructose sucrose so breakdown to give molecule of glucose and fructose the mixture is levo minus rotatory it rotate the plane polarized light to left so after hydrolysis sucrose gives glucose and fructose this mixture is levo rotatory thus the direction of rotation changes after the after this compound get hydrolyzed first dextro then it turns to after hydrolysis it turns to levo rotatory this phenomenon is called inversion okay the mixture is levo rotatory because fructose is more levo minus 92 so mixture means it contains glucose and fructose this mixture is levo rotatory because fructose is levo rotatory that more levo rotatory more on minus side minus 92 degree and the glucose which is dextro plus 52.5 degree because of this property hydrolyzed product of sucrose is called invert sugar what is the hydrolyzed what is this hydrolyzed product of sucrose is nothing but glucose and fructose mixture of glucose and fructose this hydrolyzed product of sucrose is called invert sugar and the enzyme which is responsible for hydrolysis this invert sugar uh, formation is invertase okay invertase sucrase is called invertase sucrase hydrolyzes uh, sucrose to glucose and fructose so, so it's a invert sugar so sucrose is also called as invertase okay let us briefly see derivatives of monosaccharides there are many amino sugars and other things one important derivative is sugar acids oxidation of aldehyde or primary uh, alcohol group in monosaccharide result in sugar acid so oxidation of aldehyde or primary alcohol group in monosaccharide result in sugar acid there are many important is glucuronic acid okay if you are studying metabolism uh, uh, mlt and other students they will uh, learn in detail glucuronic acid is a sugar acid okay which is used in the conjugation and detoxification of toxic substances like bilirubin bilirubin is formed by hemoglobin okay high bilirubin cause in the serum cause uh, is response uh, is a uh, 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 disease condition called jaundice you know that so bilirubin from where it comes from rbc uh, uh, okay uh, matured rbc catalyzes and uh, bilirubin is formed okay bilirubin is toxic as such it should be conjugated and water soluble okay how it is possible it combined with glucuronic acid okay to form bilirubin diglucuronide that is the reaction so this glucuronic acid is sugar acid briefly you should know example for sugar acid is glucuronic acid is used in the conjugation and detoxification of toxic substances like bilirubin okay sugar alcohol before is sugar acid now this is sugar alcohol is produced by reduction of aldoses and ketoses 
what is aldose example aldose ribose glucose and all ketose sucrose fructose contains c double bond obo so so sugar alcohols are produced by reduction of aldoses and ketoses when the carbonyl group carbonyl is co double bond co group is reduced to hydroxyl group so sugar alcohols are produced by reduction of aldoses or ketoses when carbonyl group co group is reduced to hydroxyl group oh group they are polyhydroxy alcohols they contain many hydroxy oh groups so polyhydroxy alcohols sugar alcohols okay so sorbitol is the one example for sugar alcohol what is the importance of why we are studying the, all those things which is related to human body and diseases so sorbitol pathway is that excess equivalent of sorbitol special in diabetic patient causes cataract cataract is a condition where a blurred blurred vision is there so there is accumulation of cloudy uh, 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 accumulation in the lens so get a blurred vision so sorbitol accumulation is in diabetics causes uh, this uh, cataract uh, okay so deoxy sugars next one okay uh, sugar alcohols sugar acids what is the example for sugar acid glucuronic acid sugar alcohol is sorbitol which is responsible for cataract in diabetes deoxy sugar deoxy sugars are formed when the oxygen of the hydroxyl group of sugar is removed okay so deoxy sugars are formed when oxygen of the hydroxyl group of sugar is removed one oxygen is removed from the uh, hydroxyl group oh group of the sugar which causes uh, uh, which forms deoxy sugars so deoxy sugars are formed when the oxygen of the hydroxyl group of sugar is removed deoxy example best example is deoxy ribose is the structural component of what nucleic acid dna ribose is uh present in sugar pentose present in rna deoxy ribose present in dna so uh, deoxy ribose is the structural component of nucleic acid okay that is all so next slides today only i will continue uh, with uh, this uh, biochemistry uh, next topic okay okay thank you